I got a swarm around here that's seriously off its chops. She's, they're not a very happy, they're not a happy crew at all. So <laughs> their leader must be a little bit of shitty ass. So we, I think we'll give them a new queen. And then I've got a little, little nuke box out the front. They do have another thing, and I don't know whether that treat whether there's even got a queen, but we'll give them one as well. Anyway, go around here and see what trouble we can get into. Cool. Oh, so these are the little ladies that we got off that tree not so long ago, but they're a little bit angry now that they've settled down. So we're gonna gonna see if we can find the, the boss lady, and we're gonna turn her into something cool. Now just remember though, if you're making your own queens, they're not quite as cool as the ones that you import from a queen breeder, because when they do the queen breeding, they actually get and flood the breeding site with their own drones as well. So you get all the um, genetics of the, of the bees that you want. Whereas this way around, she's gonna fly out and mate with, I don't know, whichever drones are here. And um, so you won't get a completely pure strain of the bees that we've got, but you'll at least get a shitload better queen than what this one is in here. So we'll get the lid off. See how crazy they are today. <laughs> These girls are seriously bonkers. Now if you wanted to get excited you could put your bee box somewhere else and then the girls, the bees coming back would land in a different box. But anyway, we might do that if it if it turns into that sort of situation. What are we doing chicks? Hey, what are we doing? Getting bloody excited, that's what I reckon. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's a bloody good layer though. Ew. Maybe we won't kill her. <laughs> Look at that lot. They haven't been here that long. But look how cranky busy they are. But they're not... Uh, they're it's not quite as angry as they were the other day when I was here. Yeah, fucking hell lad, I don't know. I'm almost a bit, so almost a bit of a pity. Maybe I'll go and find my little queen catching pot. We might pop her in a pot and then we'll see what other trouble we can get into. Well, she's actually doing a pretty good job in here for a feral bee. Oh. What's the bet I find her before I go and get the bloody thing? If I'm not careful, so I should go and do that when I think of it, shouldn't I? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should just not be such a big squib. Because <laughs> you can see the genetics isn't real flash. <laughs> but heck, she's got a nice pattern. So, oh, I don't know. These are the horrible decisions you have to make as a beekeeper. But I would like them to calm down a little bit. Oh, where, oh, where would you be? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Well, I can't find the boss lady because they're all a little bit psycho here at the minute. So what we might do, well, we, we might put her back together. Just let them all settle back down. Go and have a play with the little newt box that we we're going to do with. And then we'll come back here in a minute. Who knows where she is. This is why we're trying to requeen them because look at this lot. At least they're not trying to bite me today. You rabbits. <laughs> you know. Anyway, we might just let this lot settle down. And we're going to have a play with a bit smaller newt box. 
It's in the shade too. It's getting bloody hot sitting here in the sun. At least this one's got a little bit of shade. Oh. Oh, starting to warm up in this suit. Goodness me. I forgot how hot it is doing this job in the summer. See what's going on in here, see if anybody's laying any eggs. See if we can find anybody who's laying eggs. After that last epic fail. <laughs> oh puppy, stop it. Do -do -do. Run rabbit, run rabbit, run, run, run. Here comes the bush bee man with his smoking gun. Nah, that doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> I reckon there's a queen in here somewhere because there's a bit of larvae there and a few eggs. So, oh, here we go, hide and seek yet again. <laughs> These chicks aren't quite as crazy as that other lot, but then again, again, I guess there's not as many of them. Don't you love it when you want to find the Blooming, blooming queen when you've got you lot here watching me. Never just comes together with too much ease, does it? <laughs> You're too bloody simple otherwise. Dogs were eating bees the other day, that was not a good idea. It's going to be a slow job next week trying to find 40 queens, isn't it? By the time I get through that light, I'll be good at it. Normally it's not too bloody easy, too bloody hard. They just... She doesn't like us, she keeps going backwards. <sighs> she knows she's in trouble. Oh, fuck it, oh, where are you? <laughs> end up in there. <gasps> Tell you what, I reckon while Bill was right, if you're going to be a beekeeper, I think you need to know how to drink beer or shitloads of whiskey. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I digress. We've got our majesty hidden in here, which is all good. And so we're in the next plan is we take one of our queen cells that we've just got the more desirable bloodline in. Pick a little bit of their old frame that came with them so they don't get too excited. Get that organised and we're just going to cut a bit of stuff out of here so they've got something to mould to. Just make a bit of a thing here to push it into. We don't want to waste too much of this brood that we've got in here. <laughs> These girls don't seem too angry but we'll find out in a minute. And just be really careful you don't crush anybody because that's not what you want to do. And you just get push your little queen cell in like this. Now these girls will keep them warm obviously and ripen her up till the end. Let's try and make sure it all sticks together. Because the last thing you need is for your new queen cell to end up on the bottom of the pot. Because that seems all a bit pointless. Since we've got a bit extra we're going to do a couple. Oop, I don't want to wreck that lot. There's actually babies there. We'll go in here. We might as well put a couple in here since we're into it. Put this little double header in there. Then the ladies can figure out who's gonna win. <laughs> Very good. I reckon that's looking pretty good. Now we might just hold it up and see if they fall off, which will be great if they do. <laughs> and they don't, so that's good. I'll pop that back in there. I'll push it all back together like it was. And then, pop that little bit of storage back in there. 
little guy right there. Mmm, dear. Go. There we go. Whew. So anyway, there's a bit of bush bee man requeening. Now, like I said earlier, obviously, these aren't going to be quite as pure queens as you're going to buy from a queen breeder. But the cool thing is you've got some genetics from your own environment and you've had a bit of fun and you've, you know, hopefully improved your um, temperament of the girls that you're trying to work with. And Her Majesty that's, you know, I guess she's um, on a journey that her girlfriends don't want to go with her on. Anyway, we're not going to show you that bit. 